Hey y'all, so it's Jazzy Ray here and I'm back for another video. Um, I just wanted to dive a little deeper into the Chloe Bailey video that I did because, you know, just like I did with my colorism video, I just feel like I have like this theory about everything that's going on and I, I also want to talk about just the energy just being a little bit weird. Not in a bad way, but people are being exposed. Things are being exposed and people are opening up their eyes. So, I feel like that's happening in our personal lives. I feel like that's happening in the world. I feel like it's happening in entertainment. It's definitely happening. Agendas are being broken. Okay? Like, some agendas were pushed, but some are most of us are fighting back. Okay? So, I want to talk about the whole thing. And it goes back to the Trey songs because the one thing I said is what's the difference and and how the patriarchy that's a real fucking thing. And I took a woman's um woman studies course. No, I am not a feminist because I, I I'm pro woman, but I'm not a feminist because to me, when you label yourself as a feminist, you kind of put yourself in a box. And people expect you to live up to a certain expectation. And it's like, no. <laughs> but the one thing that my professor stated um, in class was that women in society are supposed to be asexual. Meaning not sexual at all. Like we're not supposed to show our bodies. We're not supposed to talk about sex. We are supposed to be asexual. Like anti-sex. But at the same time, be willing to please our husbands sexually whenever they want to be pleased. And I remember in class, I actually did a video. It's titled, I Hate My Woman Studies Class, which I have privated because I only hated the class because it's... My, I'm not with male bashing. I'm not really with that. You know, because what we have to understand is not all men are the same. You have some men who understand or who who empathize with women and sympathize, well, sympathize with women. And they really fight for the cause. Like, like you know, they, they, they come out and support women. You know what I mean? And, and, and they, they, they hear for women coming into their home and making money and, and he, being heads of companies and graduating from school and stuff like that. that they're here for that. Most niggas call them simps, but to me a simp is somebody who is a man who doesn't mind being taken advantage of by people. That's a damn simp, okay? When you got a girl who's only with you for your money, but you okay with that. You know, you, you just let the woman run all over you, or not just women, you, get, you let niggas run all over you. That's a simp. But to have respect for a woman, that doesn't make you a simp. It makes you a human being, okay? Because you're supposed to have respect, all right? So, um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. But, but yeah, um, she was a male bashing professor, and I didn't like that at all. But um, I'm glad I took the class because all this stuff that, that I learned in the class is kind of coming into a head, this, especially this year. I mean, it started with WAP, but now it's like really coming to a head. Um, but I remember being in class when she said that, and I raised my hand, and I said... That's kind of like rape in a way because I'm not supposed to be sexual, but I'm supposed to have sex with you whenever I, whenever you want me to have sex with you, even if I don't want to have sex with you. That's rape. And she said, yeah, that's rape. That's technically rape. Even when you try to make a person feel guilty so they, they give in to have sex, that's technically rape, okay? Because the other person doesn't want to do it. You don't have to be physically violent. To, you could be drugged, you could be guilt into doing it. Um, I mean, spousal rape is a, is a thing, you know. So I just feel like in society, we get we're frowned upon, and if we're not frowned upon for dressing a certain way, or if we talk about sex or sing about sex, then men and women will think we are a certain way just because we dress a certain way it goes back to that dave chappelle video that he did it was a um, comedy his comedy special and he was talking about the difference between men and women the one thing he said 
and he was and he kept it real and I respected him for saying it because you know he did a comedy skit well it wasn't a skit it was a joke but he was you know Dave Chappelle be speaking facts and he said just because a woman dressed a certain way doesn't mean that they are a certain way but to men that's a confusing thing because all comedians have said it men are so simple <laughs> they are so simple and they just they different from women they just you know men are more physical than mental not saying men are dumb at least not all of them are dumb but women are more mental and emotional you know so yeah just because we dress a certain way doesn't mean we are a certain way and i feel like for men it goes it goes the same way because just because they dress a certain way doesn't mean they are a certain way either just because they wear do-rags and shit doesn't mean they gangsters First of all, a do-rag is not a hat. It's not an accessory. You wear it to keep your hair tight and keep your waves tight, okay? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just not with the whole wearing your whole do, wearing your do-rag while you out. Like, I, I'm not with that. But, hey, that's you, though, you know? But, um, yeah. So, I just feel like for Chloe, for women, because it's not really men. Men actually came out and was like, why are y'all attacking her? Like, I've seen more men supporting Chloe than women. And that's a shocker because usually men be the first ones that be like, uh, why are y'all coming after her like that? You know, well, well, I, no, that's not what, I'm sorry. My mind's all over the place. I'm trying to make this like one shot so I don't have to edit it. So men usually, let's do a take two, bitch. Men are usually the first ones to be like, uh, y'all need to cover up, slut. Why y'all dressed like that with y'all hoes? If y'all don't want men looking at y'all, why y'all dressed like that? But to have men come out and be like, why are y'all bashing her? Like, she's just being comfortable. What is wrong with y'all? You know what I mean? Whether they do it to try to like, because you got, you got some men who try, try to fit into the trends. But also you got men who are opening up their eyes and just realizing like, this is some bullshit. Like, this whole thing is bullshit. What type of agenda were we pushing all these years? Like, what? You know, and now you got, I, I really do feel like Jesse was right when she was like, women cater to the patriarchy. I really feel like they do because, not all, because I don't, but I really feel like they do because for y'all to bash another woman, and then, and, and then let's go, um, Danny Lay and Mimi into that shit. Because we all know that song was only wrote, written to bash Mimi. Let's just call it what it is. She, I'm not about to get into that. If y'all want to talk about, if y'all really want me to get into it, y'all gotta watch my colorism video. But, um, the baby is trash. You know why? Because these two women are really fighting over this dude. Like, that's the whole reason why that song was, 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 was wrote, written, wrote, written, whatever. Potato, potato, whatever. Okay. That's why. And... To me, it's just like, I, I never understood that, you know, fight the other woman. The only way, if I'm talking to a dude, the only way I would fight the other woman is if she was disrespectful, if she attacked me first, or if she's a family member or a friend. Because if I don't know her, she doesn't owe me, owe me any loyalty. If anything, how about we team up and beat his ass, okay? Team up. Like, I have been in literally two situations where I've had talked to a guy and then there was another girl in the picture that I didn't know about and we became friends. You know, we shared stories, shared tea. And and being friends was like the biggest F you we can give to a guy. You know? Um, I just I just never understood that. Y'all were literally and then when y'all fight over this dude, y'all ain't doing nothing but building up his ego. Y'all don't do... And then, men don't do that. Men don't... I mean, you got some men who will fight the other man. But that's only if the, the dude is disrespectful. Men, they'll get together and have a beer. And, and they'll, they'll, they'll confront the girl for playing both of them. And then they'll go out and get a beer and become homeboys. Okay? I feel like women, we need to start doing that. Because to fight over a dude, it's like... And then y'all fight over a nigga who calls himself the baby. Like, he's a Jody. 
He's a Jody with money, all right? He's a Jody with money. And Mimi is Taraji P. Henson, Yvette, and Dan Danny Lay. Because you know she's going to get pregnant. Like, you know she's going to get pregnant. She's going to be peanut. Like, that. that's the situation. That's the situation. And I really feel like, like I feel like women... Y'all compete with other women because y'all are insecure with y'all selves and y'all do it to please some dude. You actually have dudes that will tell a girl to go fight the baby mama or go fight the to fight the side chick. You know, it goes back to Nature Boy. And don't even get me started on Nature Boy. Because now here's my thing with Nature Boy. If I don't know he if y'all don't know who he is, y'all need to look him up. Um Nature Boy is what you would call a poly polygamous, okay? I'm not sure where he live. I think he live in Costa Rica. I'm not sure. But he has a bunch of girls out there. Um, now, I'm all for living on an island, bitch. I'm all for that. But I'm not about to live on an island and be abused. Okay? I'm not going to do it. And he literally would tell his wives to fight each other. For his honor. You know? And he does um, humiliation rituals. On Instagram Live. Why why do y'all put up with that? That that says more about the woman than it does him because you putting up with it when when do how, how do you love yourself that that you feel that that's what you deserve in life to be mistreated? And you see he's getting exposed now, so this is my theory. Now I'm not gonna say this whole thing was just planned, like, Chloe did this shit to plan it because she's trying to push out an agenda. I'm not saying Trey did. Well, I actually do think Trey leaked it, but I don't think he's trying to push anything either. But I feel like these things are going viral. It's just universal planning. And these issues, even with Danny, you know, I feel like colorism, sexism, we're probably going to have a situation with racism and police brutality again well we already did you know i think i feel like 2020 kind of kind of did that for us you know we, all the karens was exposed and 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 police brutality with george floyd and brianna taylor and and so on and so forth i really feel like um things are changing you know things are changing and it has to change because cycles are being broken so i really do feel like this is a great time for all this stuff to go down because it allows for us to have conversations and just to see the energy is just off because like i said shit's been happening i don't know if y'all know this but shit's been happening things are getting exposed it's like people are not even trying to hide anymore it's like they lie but they're not even trying to like keep up with the lie like that's like it just, you can see right through them like i know you feel the shit like you know like we know we know is my point. So, I feel like it's all universal planning. And I feel like these things, because the fact that you have light-skinned women coming out and speaking against colorism and actually admitting that we benefit from it, that's it. that speaks volumes because that, that wasn't happening. And I'm not saying back in the day, like, like light-skinned people didn't speak on it, but you rarely saw it. And then most of the time when I saw light-skinned women speak on colorism on YouTube, they were kind of like, we don't benefit from it. And it's really dark-skinned women who are colorist towards us. And that's really what I've seen, you know. And I just want to say this too. And to any light-skinned woman who has you know, went through that with dark-skinned women, you know, criticizing them for being light. I am sorry that you went through that. That's not my experience, but I'm sorry you went through that. But just because you don't go around perpetuating it, and just because that happened to you, that doesn't mean that people who look just like you are not doing it. Because you do, I've seen, I've seen more light-skinned women be more colorist than dark-skinned women, at least... And where I, in my environment, that's what I see. And just because it, it doesn't happen to you, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Like, I've never had, I've never been in a situation where um, a dark-skinned woman criticized me for being light. And I never criticized her for being dark. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. 
I just was raised, my mother is, is just as light as I am, if not, maybe a tad bit darker, but she never would, she never taught me that, um, just if girls is going to hate you because you light skin, fuck that. Girls may hate you because you got that sauce, you got that fire, you intelligent, you spiritual, you highly vibrational, you know what I mean? You, you, you just a raw ass chick at the end of the day. That's why, that's why motherfuckers is going to hate. Fuck this. You know? That's just how I was raised. And as far as like the whole sexism thing, I just feel like I, I don't really believe in gender roles. Not that much. I feel like everybody got a part to play and everybody has a job to do. When it comes to life, I don't want a man to lead me. But I don't want to lead him either. I want to walk hand in hand next to him because we both have, we both are strong in different areas. So if he's more financially stable than I am, then of course he'll handle the money. If I'm a better cook than he is, then I'll cook. If he, if he cleans the house better than I do, then he can clean the house. I'll pitch in, you know, with the financial stuff and with the cleaning the house and he can pitch in with the cooking, you know, everybody got, a, everybody got a part to play. And, and the house runs like a machine. So it really don't matter who do what. Who do what. It doesn't matter who does what. Okay. As long as the shit gets done. But you got some people who are so. They have that ingrained in them. That they need somebody to lead them. And basically what you're saying is. I can't. I'm not. I am too. I'm so insecure with myself. And I don't trust myself. So I need you to lead me. And that's not just when women send it to men. You got some men who, who want women to lead. Who want women to work. Who want women to pay the bills. And they just stay on their ass and do nothing. Pretty much she running you. You know what I mean? So it, 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 it go both ways. And I just feel like. I'm glad that a lot of us are waking up. And. Just love yourself man. And just pay attention to what's happening. Because some shit is about to go down. It's also some shit going on. I do want to touch on that Tiny and T.I. situation. I'm, I may do a video talking about that. But, um, yeah. That's all I wanted to say, really. Um, so, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to title this video, but, but I, I touched on some subjects. Um, make sure you comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about anything that I said. And, um, again, like and subscribe. I'm, I'm going to need y'all to do more than just comment. I'm going to need y'all to share the video. Because we, I'm about to take this YouTube shit to a whole motherfucking level. I'm not getting as much work in school because it's my last semester. So, let's get it, baby. Let's go. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye.